Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Virginia and today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to save money while living in Korea, especially on the GKS stipend. Alright, so welcome back to my channel guys. Uh, on our next installment of the GKS series, I want to go over with you guys about how to make that GKS stipend go further. This video is mostly targeted towards GKS scholars, but if you're a student in Korea or even if you're working in Korea, some of these tips could also be useful for you. Alright, so the first tip I have for you guys is whenever you have the opportunity to start a membership or get a stamp card somewhere, make sure you do that. I, it doesn't matter if it's like some random cafe, you might never go back there again make the membership because you never know. A lot of places, if you go there like 10 times or spend a certain amount of money, they'll give you something for free or they'll give you a discount. And I've saved so much money thanks to this, like free drinks or um, like 10,000 won off your purchase. Um, this can be restaurants, cafes, even grocery stores, um, lots of things like that. Memberships are something that you should definitely join because there's really no risk for you. You might as well just get some free money, right? Alright, so the next thing that you should do to save money in Korea is get a card that is either tied to your bank or a credit card that contains the transportation feature. So, um, we already know about T-Money probably, right? That's the card that you can use to go on the subway or bus. Um, but you can also have the transportation feature built into um, your banking card or um, many types of credit cards also offer this. Um, they can also be used through your phone if you have like NFC, read mode, things like that. So with this, um, if it's a credit card, usually they'll even give you a discount on your transportation. With a check card through your bank, probably not, but the benefit of using it is that when you do taxes, so you might not be working now, but maybe when you're working later, um, it will show up as public transportation, which gives you a discount on your taxes. So even if you're not like working at the time, it might not be quite as useful for you, but it's a good habit to get into for once you do start working in Korea because you can save a lot of money on transportation, especially if you're commuting a long distance every day. So definitely sign up for those transportation cards. All right, so the next thing that you guys should do to save money in Korea is try to make food at home. And obviously this depends on the type of food. Some food is just too difficult to make at home, like ain't nobody got time. But um, if it is like relatively easy to make, like especially something for breakfast or lunch, you can save some money if you try to make it at home rather than going to a restaurant. Especially when you order delivery, there's that delivery fee, right? So those can all add up and um, end up costing you more money. Now, there are some credit cards that offer discounts for ordering food, so if you have one of those, you know, maybe you can disregard this, but overall, it can be a little bit cheaper to cook um, for yourself at home. And this also depends on how many people you're living with. If it's just you, then cooking at home won't save you as much money as if you're living with like maybe three or four people then uh, you guys can be saving more money by doing that so this kind of depends on you it also depends on what kind of restaurants you're going to because there are definitely like kimbap chongguk and places that are like pretty cheap so that kind of depends but it can be possible to save money if you cook more at home than go out all right and um similarly to that you can also save money by um, making your coffee or beverages at home because when you go to a cafe, especially these days, the prices can be pretty high. So if you just bring something from home, like make even an instant coffee and put it in a bottle, you can bring that with you and you'll save lots of money that way. Another way you can save money in Korea is during the winter, it gets really, really cold. The heating bills are so expensive, especially last year. Our heating bill was 300,000 just for the heating part last winter, so it was really crazy. So to avoid such a huge heating bill, I would recommend putting some bubble wrap on your windows. 
and there are also some little doorstop things you can put at the bottom of your door so when you open the door and close it there's not a draft coming in so both of those helped to lower our heating bill by 50 to 100,000 won the following month so I would definitely recommend put that bubble wrap in your windows at least do that much um, and hopefully it will save you guys some money um, with the AC usually the AC doesn't increase your electricity bill too much in the summer so I would recommend just use that normally you know you don't have to turn it down to 18 but at least like 25 or 26 um, doesn't make that much of a difference and your comfort is worth it so I would recommend use your AC um, but that's up to you. The next way to save money is through your housing. So as I mentioned in a previous video, the housing can really vary depending on the size of your housing, the area, like location, how new the building is, things like that. So if you're trying to save more money, you might wanna choose a smaller place to live in or choose a less expensive area. You could also choose like an older building and um, if you really want cheap housing, uh, other than the dorms, you can live in a villa. Those ones are cheaper than the office tells. Office tells can be pretty expensive. So if you're looking for a more affordable place to live, maybe try like an older villa. Even some of the newer villas aren't too expensive, so that should help you be able to save money. And villas also have a lower maintenance fee per month. So in an office tell, it's usually 100 plus just for maintenance. And at our apartment, the maintenance doesn't do anything. The best thing maintenance ever did for me was they did kill a cockroach that was in our house one time. Thankfully. I had to beg though, but that was the most work they've ever done. So, if you do not care about like fancy amenities and stuff like that, maybe you should try living in a villa instead of an office house. Or just stay in the dorms. That's also pretty easy. Okay, so the final tip to help you guys save money in Korea is make good use of your phone plan. So I have KT and there's the other popular one is called SKT um, and I think there's like LG or something like that. So through your phone company, it will put an app on your phone and on the app, it will show you some of the discounts that you can get. So for example, for KT every month, you can get two discounted movie tickets. So normally it will be about 15,000 per person to go see a movie at CGV or Megabox. But if you have the phone app, then you can get a discount of up to 4,000 won. So you can go for just 11,000 per person and you can use that once a month. There are also like Starbucks, there's a free size up you can use once a month. And there are lots of other good deals you can get with that. Lots of discounts for if you want to go to like an amusement park or something. And so I would say like check into your phone plan when you're making it and make sure that you try to get as much out of that as you can. And I think that whatever you don't use throughout the year, the extra points are added to your bank account, but I'm not quite sure about that. So I would say just try to use it up um, during the year if you can. So if you want to see a movie, try to get that ticket um, through your phone plan, okay? So I hope that these money-saving tips will help you guys have a more comfortable lifestyle while you're in Korea and not be as stressed about finances. And uh, if you guys have any more questions about GKS or life in Korea, make sure to leave them below in the comments and subscribe for more content about life in Korea. Oh, you get to see Eugene with his fluffy tail. Fluffy! <laughs> he got scared when the wallet dropped. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe and see you next time. Bye!